Then what have you seen here? Well, I will tell you this. This is the best practice since uh, probably 2014. Intensity-wise with pads per se. I don't know what that means, but that's a better start. For spring or for any time of year? Any, any time. First middle drill, first team period, first anything. So I don't know because we're just so young, we don't know any better. But How's it been with Jerry out here with you? Yeah, it's been good. Obviously, you have basically a coach to the offense. So it's, we've been nitpicking. So it's, but I like, I like, I like the energy. Really, Doug being back, really everybody. Apple wants to give us a big boost. Toughness at the running back position on it. Third day. It was, like I said, I think it was probably the best energy we've had in a long time. So. Well, what are you hoping to get out of this spring, Gary? What, what do you think we to? have over the last 23 years? Become the best team we can possibly be. So. How tough but, is it to go through spring with one scholarship quarterback? Oh, yeah, but it's, they're all trying, but he needs to help. To be honest with you, he's taking more than just the ones. He was a freshman last year. We needed him to go up. He's taking a lot of reps. Is that good to get that cohesiveness with the second group of receivers with Max in there? I don't know as much as that as you just reps, run the plays. Yes. Well, where would you like to see him take the most growth steps win forward this spring? Win more than we lose. I mean, it's, you know, we just, we got to be able to learn how to play catch better. Great throwing teams can just play catch. We got to keep working on playing catch and, and, and catching the ball and doing the things a lot better than what we had. We did a year ago. So. Gary, what does it say? I mean, a year ago this time we were quizzing you about all your quarterbacks here. You, you know, too many of them, and now you've got one. Welcome to college football, <laughs> as we know it now, right? So, but you know what? All the guys that are out here, they're all they're all trying. So we got to do a better job. But Max, you know, it's a good thing. You know, back in uh, 2004, Brandon Hassel had to take over. Ty Gunn got hurt, and he took every rep in the spring. And he went from a guy that really wasn't very good to a guy, to be honest with you, that had a great year, his senior year in 2004. We moved the ball and had yards. We just didn't play very good defense. But really, to be honest with you, it's, it's, what, it's what Max needs. He needs a lot of reps. If we can make sure his arm doesn't get sore and give him things to do, it's, it's, he needs all the reps he can get. So we're doing that. I'd rather just playing basketball right now, but how's the task? Well, no, today was not basketball. Today oh, we're pads? Yeah, we're okay. just, you, Sea shells. Yeah. <laughs> so how's how's your how's your uh, tackle spots looking right now? Uh, offensively? Yes, sir. I don't know. We got four of them, so it's five of them. So it's um, without really seeing this film today, but it's um, we probably need to recruit. You know, when Nichols coming in, probably one more in this next class because we have two seniors, Stormy and Austin. So how's he been, TJ? Great. He's got a lot of leadership qualities also. Is he a left or right or both for you guys? Uh, right now, it's, we don't know who our strongest are. You don't have much of a history at all of being at home during the holidays, but this past year, did you devote any extra attention to, you know, time analyzing the program, anything like that? Well, yeah, that? I mean, it's the same thing I, I do, I've done every time. It's, you know, you, you look at every part of your program and how do you make it better academically, strength, you know, in the weight room, uh, myself, uh, every coach. We changed a couple guys. Um, kind of knew what we were looking for in coaches to give us a balance of what we needed, I thought, to uh, hopefully be better next year along with our players. And, you know, we lost. We had seven guys in the combine. We lost some good players. So, uh, you know, we got a lot of work to do to try to replace those guys and get ready. But like I said before, I started this conversation. It was the probably the best team middle drill effort enthusiasm group we've had in a long, long time uh, for the first day. Gary, uh, when you look at pass rush, how important is that to work on this spring and just getting back to the yeah, level I mean, you guys are used to? I don't, we're not trying to get back to anything. We just need to develop guys so they become good. Um, you know, we've got, we've got O'Shawn's not out here this spring, so, you, so everybody else has got to grow up. Kari, Kari Coleman, already as a freshman, and uh, Pat Jenkins already have shown some signs of uh, why we recruited them. Uh, really, it's been interesting, so we're, you know, we're excited about that. Have After you seen the backs? You, you lose Darius and Shaywell, but you got two highly recruited guys from 2019. They're retro freshmen. Yeah, and Amari. And Amari. Amari. Right, Amari. Yeah, so. How's that group looking? 
Well, it's, again, the third day, but, you know, they both have a lot of ability, and they've they got some toughness to them. You know, that's why I hired Coach Applewhite, because he's kind of a running back with a little bit of a defensive mentality. You see much from Jacquez Sorrells yet? Uh, thirds. Mm -hmm. That's it. Gary, you just run for Max. Is he running the second team reps, too, or just sometimes? Sometimes. I mean, yeah, it's, we're getting as many reps as we can. Gary, do you approach a young team in spring practice different than, let's say, a veteran team that you've had in the past? Uh, not early. It's the same teaching we've done for 30 some years. Same installation, same everything. So, getting where we need to get to. You were talking about at signing day, Jamoy Hodge being a guy because you wanted an, another older guy at linebacker. How's he looked so far? Yeah, he just, you know, he's again, it's third day, but he's learning. But he's come a long way. He wants to be good. So, he's got the ability, a lot of ability, to be honest with you. We just got to get him going in the right direction and doing the things we need to do. So. Do you have to talk to Trayvon and our Darius about kind of keeping – I know they see the clip ends. People regard them as two of the better safeties in the Big 12. I don't tell them that. You guys might, but I don't tell them that. That was last year. Yeah. So this is this year. So You don't tell them they're – you don't have to tell them never, keep them grounded never, or anything. I don't ever. I don't. I don't tell them that they're good. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I tell myself every day I play like we're behind. That's how I coach. That's how I want players to play like. And when you start thinking that way, then you get hurt or bad things happen to you. So they just need to play with confidence and and keep growing up. We're we have a lot of new young players at the safety position. Our backups are talented, but they're all freshmen. They didn't play much last year, so we got a lot of work to do. Is McKendrick back at safety? or yeah, is he's he... safety, but he hasn't practiced yet. Okay. Hopefully we'll get him back um, when we come back from spring break. So. Right, how many guys are you down right now, Gary? I don't think we're down very many. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we added eight or nine, you know, eight or nine guys at, uh, at spring. You know, we added three linemen, offensive linemen, two D tackles, two defensive ends, and a linebacker. So we have big guys. That really helped us numbers-wise because – Really, that's what's about. It's about the trenches. Do you expect some of those injured guys like Downing and Mathis and Baldwin to be ready by summer? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. They'll all be so. back by May, June. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So your depth will get. Oh, yeah. I mean, for starters, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys, the ones that panic, I'm not panicking. I mean, it's like, <laughs> got to have something to write about, right? You got to <laughs> tell them they're coming back and everything's going to be how you know, everything's going to be. So. You said playing catch earlier. Is there a guy that, that can be regular-ish on the field we're right not, now? We're not trying. We're just trying to be whoever they are. They're, they're just trying to learn the tweaks, the new tweaks in the offense that we've added. So, I mean, again, third day. The way offense does it, they teach it for three days, and then they start over. So today was day three, and then we'll start over on Thursday. Is that harder for the receivers? Like, Is that the position group that, that's impacted the most by that? Uh, not, not necessarily. Um, young boy running backs are tougher. Uh, but it's, you know, it's – Having Coach Meacham's really made a difference, I think, already. Malcolm's a year older in the system, so it's really made a difference. And so it's moving Jared back to offensive line is, is, is a good move. I mean, it's, so. How much potential does Esteban have for you guys on the interior? I don't know. As, you know I mean, he has, he's a bigger body. We'll have to see how he is and what goes on. I mean, it's, right now, he's, I, I haven't even had a chance to be going so fast to even know where our starting center is, to be honest with you. If you guys stood out here, the reps would be going fast. It's, I got barely got time to look at the defense and see if they got lined up. I mean, it's been going fast. So you said Thomas Armstrong was going to be ready to go this spring. He's days. practicing. He's ready, but he's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be there. You mentioned the tweaking of the offense. It's not revealing state secrets, though. When you go through like last year, where. You have troubles in the passing game. How did you treat it more than usual? Oh, yeah. Everybody's scripting. There's four different guys. I got to play wh whoever scripts the script. And right now, I don't know who scripts the script of each one of them. Pass Kelly, middle drill, team period, blitz period. So everybody's got a different attitude about it. So every day they switch it up on me. Right <laughs> now, through three days, is, is Sonny and Doug both calling plays, or do you okay, know? Right now, we're just scripting. We're just scripting. Okay, can you tell some improvement though? On the scripts, and uh, or is I'll it too early to tell? I'll we'll tell you guys in about three hours when I get done watching this. <laughs> I mean, if you ask Coach Kill, he'd probably tell you no right now. So, uh, Gary, just uh, the one time transfer will that change how you?
approach recruiting at all or not like it? I don't know. We're going to have to see how it all works. Yeah. I'm disappointed in it, to be honest with you. I think they're going to find out they wouldn't want it to be their kids. Mm -hmm. That you didn't want a coach to grow them up, and every time it didn't go well for them, they, want to, they can just leave. But I'm 60 years old, and so I've already about grown my three boys up. And so the rest of them, as they were, parents, coaches, third parties, all the people that do it. Um, all these senators and legislatures, that they all think that this is the greatest thing that ever happened to the kids. They're, they'll all see and they'll find out. So, I, so you, I, it's like basketball. I'm sad for basketball. Sad for basketball because you guys all hear about a couple guys. You don't hear about all the ones that don't get as good a scholarship or don't get anything at all, and they get left out. And they don't get an education. Okay, they don't. They end up. We got guys selling mixtapes out of their trunk that have left here. They went in the portal. That are not even going to school anymore because they didn't really want to play, and so it was their excuse to leave. So that was, it was a higher priority excuse. Nobody paid any attention. And now they're nowhere. And so everybody that decided that this was a good thing, I'm happy for them. But they just need to understand it was somebody's son. That's when they need to understand someday it was somebody's son. So the bottom line to it, they'll find out. Because all the guys become great just like you guys. How did you become better? Through the process of learning how to write an article, how to do things, you went through all the goods and bads. And that's what we're, there's going to be, there's parts of, you know, being able to move, that's good for a guy. But there's a lot more worse things because guys are going to transfer, they're going to transfer because it's the easiest thing. And that's not what makes you good. And so, we'll all, we'll all see how this all goes. Yeah, so, so the guy's Like home, I said, I'm glad I'm 60, not 40. Yeah, so the guy's home, like, say, he wasn't able to, or he just didn't want to play anymore. I don't know. He couldn't get another scholarship. No. See, y'all, y'all think, y'all, you guys hear about is the 5%. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything. Nobody does any stats on the other 95%. Because <laughs> we're, we're cheating kids out of educations and doing things and how they do it. So we'll all, we're going to all find out how this is. All on for the betterment of what? Because they think they're getting cheated out of money? Our kids have it better right now than they've ever had it in their entire lives in college football since I've been in the game. And so, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a team player. I'm gonna do whatever you guys say we're gonna do, but I'm just gonna tell you, here in about 20 years, we're all gonna look back at this and say. Is there any way that you could tweak this or do you think that would be better? They're not listening to us. We've already told them what we think the coaches have. They didn't listen to us, so. They didn't listen to, they haven't listened to the AFCA, they haven't listened to the coaches, they haven't listened to anybody. Not the senators and the congressmen and all the people are doing. They don't even really know, most of them don't even know what what goes on on a football field and how guys are taking so. Well, what was the AFCA's proposal, Gary? I, I mean, I'm, this, you came to talk about my, you came to talk about <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm giving you guys a story. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that stupid, man. come on now. Yeah, you're the president now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Back to yours. Did you get a chance to watch much of the combine? Uh, no. Do you ever get caught? I didn't yet? think. I, I think we did some good things, but I didn't think our guys. I think all of our guys could test a lot better. I don't think if that's what they did the last couple months. I think they should have stayed here and trained. To be honest with you. <laughs> you want to know my my two cents? They paid a lot of people a lot of money to not make them better. So. So, so you guys, they could train here if they wanted. Oh, they yeah. with we, we, yeah, we've had guys. We, yeah. Coleman trained here. We've had plenty of guys who trained here, and we don't charge them. <laughs> well, well, what, what? I mean, is it just a it's feeling? The, it's, 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 the, it's the sexy thing to do, don't you know? I got to go to San Diego. I got to go to Florida. I got to go all these places because these guys can make me better. Come on. I forgot to ask you about cornerbacks earlier. How are they looking with Jeff and Julius um, gone now? Yeah, we got, I tell you what, probably Trey is probably, uh, LT's nephew is probably looking the best. Noah, Tony Samuels is making some plays. You know, we got to find another fourth and fifth. CJ, um, Keon, those guys need to grow up and, and keep playing, but the, we got a ways to go to play like Jeff, like two seniors did. So we got a ways to, but I mean, it's, we can all run. That's, that's a start. So that's good.